All right, so today we are learning about brushes in Photoshop. A couple of you have done a few of this before, but let's do a, I'll show you how to make your own, make a custom one. First, I am going to crop out what I know is unnecessary. If you have a background on yours, you might want to erase it, either using the quick selection tool or using your eraser tool and cutting it out. I'm going to deselect that. All right, let's learn about brushes. File. Oh, not that. So we have this here. I'm going to go to my black and white right here. And I'm going to click Define Brush Preset. I'm going to title this brush Thread. Very exciting. Thread. Click OK. Now, if you see here, if I select on my brush, I can find that brush right here. Right, and I can stamp all over it. But let's test them out in a different place. So I'm going to click File, New. I'm going to go to Inches. Let's just do 6 by 6. You can do another size if you'd like, but I'm just going to pick this. I'm going to, let's change my brushes up here. I want to go for a normal one. I'm just going to fill in my space with a background color. How about, I think that looks rather nice, this green. Beautiful. Now, let me go in and select another brush that I just made. The very end of our list, I have the spool of thread, but if I click it, same color. So I have to change my color over here. Go to a little bit of a, I think I might just do, let's do that. I can put the thread there. Kind of looks like a photo, but it's all in one color. I made a few other ones earlier, so I could do things like Maybe I could do up here. Kind of have it going off. I could do, let's select another color. Ah, pink, okay. That, that's all right with me. A little bobbin. Ooh, doesn't show up. Let's undo that. And let's change the color. I could do lots of things. I'm just stamping once on here, but you can do several. So if I were to do a, a whole nother file, I'm just going to, this is just to play around with it. I'm going to do 10 by 10, just to kind of give us some more space so I can really show you what these can do. So I showed you I had a few different ones. Now, this is really huge for me. I did a sewing machine, but I might want to change it. I can either go up here in the corner and change this size, make it smaller, so I can put it there. Or, I can also go in my presets that are on your side. It's this little, like, see it looks like brushes in a cup. And I can change the size. I can also change the spacing. So if you see here, you have your preview. That's going to look very similar. They kind of start mixing together. I want to pick a lighter version. And I can space them out. So that they don't touch. I can change it up however I'd like. Beautiful, lots of sewing machines. I did this earlier where I stamped my different ones on here. I have not done my latest one, so let's see. Uh, you know what, we're gonna keep with that color. Why not? So you see here, I have a theme going. You're going to upload all of your different pictures on here, make brush types, and test them out. I want you to save this test, put it on your blog, and you're all ready to go.